New in Mocha Pro 2021, the Olympic export format is now available across all versions of Mocha Pro. This versatile format gives compositors and 3D artists access to the Mocha Pro Power Mesh tracking data via a warping planar mesh. A locked camera is also included to make sure the mesh aligns to the original footage. The Alembic format is supported in a wide range of software, including Autodesk Flame and Maya, The Foundry Nuke, Maxon Cinema 4D, Blackmagic Fusion, and many more. Using the format in compositors, you have access to the fast warping and projective texture capabilities of the built-in Alembic UV mapping. In 3D applications, the planar mesh can be used to drive other 3D objects, particle systems, and effects, or deformed in depth by your 3D packages, projective textures, and modifiers. To use Alembic in your workflow, you begin by tracking with the Mocha Pro Power Mesh tools. Start by drawing a spline around the area you want to track. Turn on the Mesh option to create the mesh. Then adjust the various mesh settings for size and placement. Keep in mind that this mesh is the one that will be exported to Alembic. Once you're happy with your mesh placement, track forward and backward depending on your starting point. You can modify the mesh using the Edit Mesh mode to adjust the vertices once you're done. When you're happy with the Power Mesh track, you can then export the data via Export Track. Choose Alembic from the drop down menu. The reference frame in the export dialog sets where the mesh UV mapping starts to forming from. By default, this is the frame you generated your mesh on, but you can change it here if you want to use a different frame. You can then save your mesh to disk. Let's take a look at a few of the ways the Alembic data can be set up in various applications. In Nuke, you can use the Alembic data as a speedy warping effect. Start by bringing in the footage you tracked in Mocha, and then add a read geo node. Open the exported Alembic file via read geo's file browser. Change the import parameters if necessary, and then ReadGeo will ask you how you want to set up the camera and geometry nodes. Once your new camera and mesh are in the node graph, create a scanline renderer node and feed in the ReadGeo, camera, and source image into the inputs of the scanline renderer. If you view the node, the mesh should now be correctly projected over the top. If you add an image or material to the image input of the ReadGeo node, this will then project the texture onto the mesh. Scrubbing the timeline will now show the texture warping smoothly to the faces over time. In Fusion, you can also use the Alembic data via a fast render pass. Start by importing your source footage to the Fusion project. Then create an ABC node chain by importing the Alembic file via File, Import, Alembic Scene. Change the import parameters if necessary, and then Fusion will set up an ABC node with the geometry and camera fed into it. You can now use the ABC node in combination with the Renderer 3D node to composite warp textures over the top of the original footage. Feed in the ABC node into the input of the Renderer 3D node. Merge the Renderer 3D node over the top of your source footage node. If you view the Merge node, the mesh should now be correctly projected over the top. Add an image or material to the input of the mesh node that is the same name as your Mocha layer name. This will then project the texture onto the mesh. Scrubbing the timeline will now show the texture warping over your original shot. For 3D packages, Alembic is either opened or merged into your projects. For example, you can open an Alembic file as a direct project in Cinema 4D. This brings in the animated mesh data and the static camera. You can then click the view icon in the camera layer to preview the mesh through the camera. If you want to make sure the mesh is lining up to your original shot, you can create a new background object to show the source footage. Then, in the Materials panel, create a new basic material and import your source footage as a texture. In the Viewport options for the material, make sure that the Animate Preview option is turned on so you can see the moving footage in the viewport, and then drag the material to the background layer. You should now see the mesh lining up with the source footage and can start creating. The tracked vertices can be used to drive various effects, and the UV tags embedded into the mesh means applying textures will match the movement as expected. These are just some of the ways the Power Mesh Alembic format can be brought into your shots, adding a new flexible tool to your VFX workflow. For more Moku tutorials, tips, and news, visit us at borisfx.com.